The government has extended the provincial state of emergency, allowing officials to support the province's COVID-19 pandemic response. Joining me live this morning is Kathleen Cruz with more details. Good morning, Kathleen. Good morning, R.T. Rose. Yes, correct. British Columbia has once again extended the provincial state of emergency until July 21st. This allows the government to continue to provide restrictions in the province under the Emergency Program Act of non-essential of the to support COVID-19 emergency pandemic response. Mid-June, the government issued flexibility of non-essential travels within the province, including businesses in the tourism industry to be operational again. However, experts are warning British Columbians that there is a possibility of the province returning to lockdown once number of positive cases rise again, a similar response to other states and countries to halt the second wave of the coronavirus. In the past week, there are a new number of positive cases being announced, especially people are starting to be out and about. Although BC Premier had stated to, comp to keep the international border closed and not give up the ground that they have diligently worked on and accomplished to flatten the curve. As restrictions are slowly easing up and COVID-19 risk is still very Currently low in the province, BC health authorities continue to remind British Columbians to avoid, to avoid close spaces, crowds, and close contact with others. The bubble might have been expanded for Canadians, but the virus is still around. In Vancouver, Kathleen Cruz, Eagle News, will live in interesting times. Thank you so much, Kathleen. You know, would you be able to tell us what are your thoughts about the growing number of cases in this phase of the restart plan? Yes, RJ. So when we entered phase three, so the government entered phase three, there were no cases of um, we cut, we flattened the curve, and uh, no cases, of, new, no new, new, no new cases of COVID nineteen, but. The slow increase is quite alarming because the transmission of the COVID-19 is exponential, right? So, but as long as everyone is disciplined and contact tracing is active, I think we should be okay to proceed on phase three. Um, otherwise, again, our economy will take a hit on that. So um, I think as long as everybody is doing their best to keep their distance with others and, you know, staying home when they're sick, then I think we should be okay. Yeah, definitely. I think everybody is raring to get back into normal. You know, have you noticed um, any changes in public behavior since the announcement of phase three in the restart plan? Yes, um, you know, um, well, I've been seeing people wearing masks. Definitely, even when I go out, I wear my mask, especially when I'm going to grocery, um, going to parks, and I know there's going to be people there, but some people may be, you know, losing that restriction. So um, it is still advisable to wear masks, but it's not compulsory in our region, right? So, and beach, beaches and parks are starting to become busy, again, which indicates that people are starting to enjoy their summer. And, um, but again, um, people shouldn't be complacent with this as long as that the virus is still there. Yeah, I definitely agree. You know, as much as we want to enjoy kind of the relaxation of restrictions, we want to still be mindful that the virus is still happening. There's still cases out there um, and, you know, continue to stay safe. So in other, you know, in, in other news, what have you been up to during this next phase? <laughs> yes, RG, well, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to spend my summer productively but um, I also wanted to be safe especially I'm living with my parents as well I don't want them to get sick um, with very little travel plans around I've been staying away from big crowds I've just been focusing on some little home DIY home renovation so that just you know repainting our house to to make it modern, decluttering some household items that may be laying around that haven't been touched, you know, that we no longer need. So something very productive as an 
wanted to be avoiding crowds. So I think it's becoming a productive summer for me. So definitely the best time to do, to keep me busy while I'm staying home, right? That's wonderful. Well, glad to hear that you are staying safe and obviously staying productive. Thank you so much for joining us, Kathleen.